Hey guys, I'm about to color my hair. Frugal Nista, uh, the grays are overtaking me. I try not to color my hair a lot. Uh, I do use permanent color. Uh, I'm not that fancy smancy. I go and pick up the cheapest sometimes, which works just as good as an expensive. But I'm going to do um, something that I saw yesterday in Target for the first time. I've never seen this before. Most of the time I buy my colors from places like CBS and Whitey when I'm just in there picking up things. So, And if I have a coupon for colors, I just get them. But I saw this in Target on yesterday. As I understand it, it's been out for a while, probably since the beginning of the year. It is July 2013, but some of the videos I've seen on YouTube, as you can see, <laughs> I always do um, use my YouTube as a comparison. A lot of the videos are done like early January 2013, so I guess that's when it came out. But I am going to do the Shea Moisture um, Nourishing Moisture Rich Hair Color System. Okay, I use Shea Moisture on my daughter's hair, on both daughters' hair. Uh, I did a little video of me uh, washing my youngest hair, and I also use it on my oldest daughter's hair. She has a kind of a wash and go look for the summer. She doesn't really blow her hair out in the summer, and I like their products for you know washing your hair and conditioning it. So I said, why not? I recognize the brand. Uh, I thought it was a tad bit, a bit expensive for me. It was $14.99. Uh, in watching my videos on YouTube, a couple of the young ladies have said that they have actually seen it on clearance now. So in my Target, it was not on clearance yet. It was on, it was $14.99, which is expensive for me. But it's a whole system. It's not just your regular, it looks like it's not just your regular, um, you know, hair dye. They have the story of Shea Mo Moisture here, which I think is kind of cool. I love the packaging, the uh, watercolor um, pictures are different. I would probably, you know, it's beautiful. I think that's gorgeous. You know, they're beautiful pictures of gorgeous women, um, you know, hairstyles. But it's not a true test of color. Like, it's, it's you know, it's painted. So, but I decided to go with the dark golden blonde. I've never been blonde before, and I probably won't be because I've been dyeing my hair black forever now. And my true color hair is probably a, um, is you know, like a black. Uh, I've been every color of the rainbow. And back in the day, I didn't care what color I dyed it, when I dyed it, how I dyed it. But now because I have to dye it, and I guess I don't have to, but I, I am bothered with graying temples, which are not, to me, the most attractive thing. I have um, family members. My sister-in-law, for example, has gorgeous gray, long, beautiful strands. And her gray comes in really, really natural. My grays aren't really uh, particularly cute to me. So now I basically color for the gray. I gray around the temple. And uh, it's such a headache to have to do it now. And it, what really gets me is, for me... Picking up dye too gray to, to cover the gray, it really annoys me. Maybe because I'm just getting older. But for decades, I've been dyeing my hair and I would go pick up, you know, dye and would not think twice about it. But now for some reason, I guess because I'm coloring gray, I have issues with it. But the first thing I noticed, like I said, the, the box opened up like a little book, opens up like a little book. And it gives you their story, tells you all about the products. Um, it's been around for a minute. I didn't realize this stuff has been around since 1912. Okay. The box opens from the top, and inside, this is what you find, all of your products in this cute little bag. That's cute. I don't know if it's worth $14.99, but that's cute and different. They just didn't throw everything in there. So presentation, I give it an A. It has all of your products in here, and I'm going to get started. All right. I'll see you in the bathroom. Okay guys, I'm in the bathroom ready to do this. Uh, again, they give you this cute little organza bag, which is really cute in a honey and chocolate. Very nice, I thought that was cute. You could probably use that for something in your hair arsenal. So that's the first thing. Second things, the gloves, I like the gloves. They're not the cheap old plastic gloves. They are actually a pair of rubber gloves. Second, they are two techniques, brush and bottle method. I'll be using the bottle method, even though they say the brush method is more precise. I'm just used to doing the bottle method, so I'll use that. Uh, I've unboxed everything. I just cut the tip off of this, 
And I'm about to put in my Radiant Color Cream. Let's get started on this. Cool. Open that up. Oh, look at the color. In the name of Jesus, I hope this turns out okay. I have never done blonde on my hair before. The reason why I picked blonde is because I know... i just put all that in there. I know that because I've been using black and my hair is dark. Because they recommend you not to go two shades lighter than you already are or darker than you already are. But because I figure this will give me a true light brown almost. At least that's what I'm hoping for. And if not, it's always just hair. It will grow back. And they have everything marked pretty clear for you. Everything um, is marked clear. Um, one into number two. So the color into the developing cream. And according to the directions, if it's like the other directions I've done, you just shake as hard as you can. Okay, while I'm getting, waiting on my hair to uh, finish coloring, I can see a little bit of change. You probably can't. It just still looks really, really dark. But I can see a little bit of a change. It's probably going to be uh, light brownish. I'm hoping. And what's probably going to happen is my roots are going to be really, really light and the other end is going to be dark. Uh, but we shall see. I've already said a prayer hoping for the best. But now the question is, what shall I do with my hair after I finish this? Because normally I do the uh, blow dry. Uh, and in the summertime, literally I just wear ponytails all summer. Or wet sets. Should I do the flexi rods? I'm debating on those. I've got these little crimp things. I did these a few years ago. They work okay. They give you like a crimp wave. Just takes forever for your hair to dry. I've got glue gobs of those. Or shall I just do a roller set with magnetic rollers? I'm leaning more toward the flexi rock. Okay guys, it's time to wash this out. I usually do my washing in my laundry room sink. Getting my water all ready. I can see a difference in the color. It's probably going to be like a light brown with a little hint of red to it, especially around my temples where that gray hair was. So I'm going to wash it out and let you know what I'm getting ready to do. I'm probably going to give myself a, um, they recommend that you use their shampoo, which I'm going to use, and their conditioner, which I'm probably going to give myself a deep conditioner tonight also because it has been a while since my hair has been deep conditioned. All right, you're ready to rinse my hair. Okay, just finished the deep conditioner, um, or I'm doing a deep conditioner, a deep condition. Just finished washing it out. Um, use the product, products that they gave me. The only thing complain I can complain about is they use too much in packaging. That's probably why they, it costs a little bit more. This is very, very heavy plastic. It's hard to squeeze out. I haven't used the elixir yet, but here's my conditioner and shampoo. You guys could probably cut corners on packaging. Um, because I think the it's the same thing made out of the regular bottles. But I managed to get the conditioner out, which took forever. So that was kind of annoying. So I'm going to sit with a shower cap on for about 5 minutes, maybe 10. And then I'm going to style. Uh, it just does not do me justice to blow dry my hair in the summer. Because I don't have a perm and I'm like cotton candy hair. Whew. So not that anything is wrong with cotton candy hair. But if you take the time to blow it dry straight... Um, yeah, so we'll see. We'll see what I decide to do. I don't know what to do. Um, am I digging the color so far? Honest answer, no. No. But we shall see. It's more of a light brown. And like I said, the virgin hair is taking better than the dyed black hair. So around the gray hairline and, you know, when I did the roots... It's a little bit lighter, but I guess it'll be okay because it's not all one color. It's not like I dyed it all one color. So something fun for the summer that I guess I'll get used to. All right, I'm going to let this sit on here about five minutes, five, ten minutes, and then I'm going to rinse out and style. I'll let you know what I decide to do. Okay, bye. 
Okay, I just rinsed again my hats off to all my YouTube sisters who are able to do all this stuff with proper lighting and cute little thumbs up and whatever when they're doing it. My hat's off to you. But anyway, I'm getting ready to uh, comb through my hair. I'm going to let you see the color. I don't think I'm real pleased with it. Yeah. Uh, it did not cover the gray like I wanted it to because it left it sandy. But I'll see how it looks when it dries. I'm not digging that at all. So I have my own, I'm going to do a, a leave-in conditioner for each section, and then I'm going to, none of my stuff works. I'm on camera just like struggling. So I'm just going to section it off, do some leave-in conditioner just a little bit, and then I think I'm going to try to flexi-rod it. And you wonder why I go to the shop and wear ponytails in the summer. I am not gifted when it comes to the hair. And natural hair is more, you have to do more maintenance with natural hair than you do. Sometimes I think with permed hair. So now I'm going to try to make sure that I just comb it out. Uh, the hair feels good, you know, I guess it feels good. It's been a while since I've actually combed out my own hair. So I do like three squirts of that. And I'm going to do that as a leave-in conditioner, the Shea Moisturizer Conditioner. So I can get on all the strands. I'm having a lot of um, shedding, but I do that. Sometimes I wonder when I get finished doing my hair or even at the shop. It's so much shedding. It almost feels like I'm bald headed. Look, that's a lot of shedding to me. Can't really see that, but I shed a lot, but technically I had read somewhere, even if you don't comb your hair every day, it will, you do just shed. <sighs> So, but what I am noticing, but maybe because I haven't combed through my hair probably in like at least a year, that I do have some type of curl little pattern going. It's not as straight as, as I thought it was. It's still straight. There's no permanent at all because when I did my big chop, I took it all off. But the only um, chemicals are the other coloring. Uh, that I used to, you know, usually give myself every two months, two, two and a half months. So if I don't like this color, in six to eight weeks, I'll just color it all black again. It may not be the best thing for the hair, and if push comes to shove, if it damages it, oh well, I'll just cut it again. It's just hair. It will grow back. All right. I'm tired already. See you in a minute. Okay, all done. I don't know what I call this. I probably call it wearing a wig to church in tomorrow, tomorrow for church. I'll let you know how it turns out. Okay, my hair is still wet. I just took the rollers out. I had done little rollers on the ends. Looks like it will be a wig for church tomorrow. <laughs> uh. Okay, good morning. Um, I did not have to resort to wearing a wig. This will probably be my go-to style. I don't know if you can really see it. I'm not particularly fond of the color. I'll probably end up dyeing it again next week. But um, I'm not, you know, I don't, it looks a lot better than I thought it would because I, I have no problem in throwing on one of my girls. But um, yeah, so this is me side it's all crinkly 
I just, you know, untwisted the little twist. And uh, I don't think it looks too bad. So this will probably be my little go-to style for the rest of the summer. Kind of a wash and go and condition. Which will really get my hair back healthy because I do need to start conditioning it. So this will be, um, you know, something for me to wear this summer. And possibly changing the color maybe next week or maybe just leaving the color in. Maybe I'll just get kind of used to it. Because I was doing black, you know, I've been dying my hair black forever. It did not take on the ends, which I knew it wouldn't. And of course, the new growth took and the temples took. So I don't really like that look. But you know, I might get used to it when it starts growing out. Uh, so we'll see. Feels great. It feels better than it does than when I do my little cheapo dyes. So uh, the Shea Moisture, I, re I would recommend it. I just don't particularly care for the color. And the box did say if you have darker, you know, hair color, it will not take um, to the color that it is on the box. So I knew that already. So yeah, I just want you to see it. I, I think it looks okay kind of dark in here not good lighting but oh well so all right bye you want y'all want to say good morning good morning, good morning. Uh, my doing my nails oh yeah and the little one's getting her nails done <laughs> on the way to church all right guys enjoy your day bye